Yay! Welcome back to the channel. It's Lifestyle Mom, and we're here with another video. Today is the 4th of October. I'm sorry that this video is coming out way late, but I'm doing it the day of. So, we're just gonna get, hurry up, get into the intro, and get into it. It's Lifestyle Mom. And make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell for notification every time I upload. Today's video, we are going to do a makeup routine, a makeup vlog, and I'm going to talk about my day yesterday. So, yeah, I was going to explain, like, just the events that happened and then what I have to do now <laughs> today to hopefully get everything fixed so um I don't know if I'll have it in the title but I my debit card is gone this <laughs> it's gone I I have no idea where it's at I've tried looking for it everywhere everywhere so I'll get into the story and then I'll do my makeup while we're kind of talking about that. But yeah, and then also yesterday, my Jeep is starting to act up. This is the palette that we're probably gonna end up using. Um, I'll just, I'll go through some of my palettes. The two palettes that I'll be using, I have four and I've already showed you guys them plenty of times. But this is the Revolution one. This is from Target. This is so, like, I love this. It's so pigmented. And um, it's very bright, vibrant in color. So there's a lot of oranges in here that I think I'm going to be using. We're going to probably do an orange look, like a fall look, pumpkin look. I, I think that's probably what we're going to do. And then I also have um, this palette. It's the Wet n Wild Wild Heart palette. I think I might be using this sparkly white right, right here. It's got a little pink in it, but we'll figure it out. Before we start, um, my son's pictures came in. They're a little dusty. <laughs> So they came in, this is the one pose that he had, and then this is the other pose. Oh my gosh, look how cute he is. Yep, those are his pictures. I'm waiting on Cash's pictures. I bought lashes, they're called witchy lashes. So we're all fall themed, everything. We're gonna start by moisturizing my face. And we're going to do my eyeshadow first. Let's open up this big palette. Here's my makeup palette. It's got all my stuff in it. As I go through it, I'll go through like what I'm using. I had to get new stuff, so I went and bought a couple new things. I went to Luke Bryan, actually. Yeah, I have a new hydrator, a moisturizer. I love this thing. This is called Bubble. It's Slam Dunk. Slam Dunk hydrating moisturizer this is the best honestly but you just like press it and then you get a little dab and then you put it on your face but i also have eyeshadow moisturizer or like an eyeshadow primer first thing that we're going to start with is this Pro province beauty natural vitamin c and hyaluronic acid glorifying day serum it's like a day it's a serum it's a serum it literally makes your face feel so good. Make sure you clean your face before you obviously do this. So I cleaned my face earlier this morning. I'm sure it's still clean. That's on my face. Let me go get a ponytail. I'll be right back. Yesterday was hectic. Now we're going to start with this Slam Dunk Moisturizer. I just rubbed this all over my hands. I'm going to put it on my face. I'll let that kind of dry up. And then when I'm doing my eyeshadow, I'll talk about what is going on with my vehicle so that's on my face and then we're gonna put this i have it's milani eyeshadow primer so my car has been in the shop a few times this year i think yeah a few times my transmission pan my my transmission pan the like place that holds all your fluids um 
it was leaking really bad. So I ended up getting that fixed. <clears throat> and then I also had to get my car into the shop because there was something broken on it. I don't know exactly what it was. So there was like this piece that was broken on my car. I got it out of the shop once it was fixed and like it was golden after that, right? Until I figured out that my transmission pan was leaking. So I ended up getting in the shop and I fixed it. But this whole time, my shock, I want to say, has been squeaking like so bad. Every time I hit a bump, it squeaks. Every time I move my anything, the car is squeaks so bad. But recently, it's been getting worse. So every time I took it into the shop, I always asked them to look at it. I explained to a T what I'm hearing. And every time I get my car back, they don't, they haven't fixed like the squeaking, like the squeaking in the like in the paper it doesn't say anything about it being fixed it just says like what i got it originally in there for because you know it was either broken or i my transmission pan was leaking and stuff like that but every time i also mentioned the squeak so now it's to the point where like i move my steering wheel like everything i do and when i get into the car the thing squeaks i look at it and it squeaks it's like squeak when i look at it like what I could look at it right now, it'll be squeaking. It's probably squeaking right now as the rain is hitting it. I'm sorry, Jeep, I hope you're not listening to me. A few weeks ago, a month ago, I would say almost now, um, I was pulling out of my work and I was backing up and my car was like puttering. It was like, like putter. It wasn't like shifting into gear. It wasn't shifting into reverse. So it like, it was like doing what kind of one of these, <laughs> you know? That's what mainly all this video is going to be about, is me trying to do the movements and the sounds of this. So, I didn't know what it was, and I finally got my car in gear. Like, I put it in drive, and it immediately started going, and it, like, started doing that a little bit, of, and I got it to go. And, like, I took off into the main road on the Grand River, and it started doing that a little bit. So, right next door to my work, there was an oil change place, so I, like went in there because I'm like you know what if I'm like low on oil or something I am not a mechanic I'd, I wouldn't even know what it was but I knew that it was part of my transmission because obviously like I'm not that dumb when it comes to cars like I get I, I will have a sense of what it is I've had a lot of car issues in my life I have these lashes I pulled in there they changed my oil and ever since then like my car was fine it never did that like it wouldn't it didn't do it I just kind of let it go you know whatever just kind of let it go my boyfriend was driving actually good thing he was too because he was driving my car and we pull into the gas station and we stop and we pull in and it starts making it starts doing this like before we even get to the parking spot it starts doing this as we're slowing down and he was like what the heck like what i'm like see this is what happened this is what it was doing so it he was like all right so he reversed it and like it did it again so he put it in drive and it kept doing it and i was like what is going on with my car okay i have no idea what's going on with my car but anyway stop pause the story because i obviously can't multitask we're gonna start with the white we're gonna do a white <clears throat> we are gonna do a white first a little primer put a little white on there and um we like pulling out like we get it to work i have them shut it off and stuff and i'm like you know just try putting it i don't know like reset it or something i don't know what the, he's the mechanic not me okay so he finally gets it to work and like we're pulling out and it starts kind of doing it a little bit and so we pull in at walmart and he's like popped my hood and he like was trying to figure out what's going on it literally started working just fine what i don't get cars like it just started it just started working just worked it was fine i'm putting my thing in here right now i don't know why this is like kind of where i want the base to be though i'm gonna put like a little crease in here and it's not gonna be a, like a hard crease but i want to be a little white spot right here 
we ended up getting it home without any issues after that. So now, um, I had to call the mechanic because this morning, I have to call the mechanic. Because this morning, when I was taking the kids to school, it started doing the same thing. It was like doing whatever it wanted to do. Like puttering a little bit. But it wasn't as bad as what it was doing yesterday. Oh, I didn't put the primer on it. The white. So yeah, I don't know. If you guys are listening to my crazy story, like, help. I don't know what's going on. You know? But, I'm gonna get it fixed. Uh, I'm gonna call the mechanic. So I got my little white stuff. This is where I'm gonna, I'm gonna end up doing more. But I could have my little crease right there. Right there. Okay? We're gonna start with the dark and then go in with the light. And then we're gonna get into my debit card story. So... Back up a few years ago, my roommate that I used to live with, obviously, she was my roommate. Um, we were both pregnant at the same time and stuff. And, like, like I was a single parent, and I thought kind of, like, the same situation was, like, with her, like, as with me. And I just misjudged that completely. But her baby daddy ended up moving in with us and ended up stealing all my money like stole my debit card three times stole a max of ten thousand two hundred dollars um that's including the cash that he stole the first day that he ever met me he stole right out of my wallet he got lucky that day and um yeah I have been so, like, terrified of my card, like, that happening, right? Like, I I always try to keep track of where my shit is at all times. My fault this time, because I definitely did not. But, um, the other day, two days ago, wait, two days ago, okay, first, pause. We're gonna go in with the orange now because we look crazy uh we're gonna start so this is gonna be this is the dark one we're gonna start on the outside that's gonna be like right here we're gonna do the lightest one on the inside right above that little crease that i want to do on my eyes so it'll be like right here and then we're gonna start like fanning it out but i'm using the wrong brush right here this is the brush i want to use Yeah, and and I'm not blaming anybody in this video for anything besides the guy that stole my debit card and stole my money and got charged for it. That guy, I blame him 100%. He shouldn't have done that. A couple of days ago, right, I, I don't ever, I don't, my boyfriend buys everything. Like, he always buys the food and everything else. And that's just, I mean, he buys everything. I don't know. Um, we're going to start with the the light. We're going to go on this side. Oh, let's start with the dark, actually. We're going to do this color. We're going to do tweet in this palette. I told him, I was like, listen, I'm hungry. And I'll buy food. Like, I was like, I'll buy it, you know? So, I gave him my debit card. And I told him, go to KFC because I really want like a famous bowl, you know, whatever. He went to fa he went to KFC and got a famous bowl and, and all that. And he comes back and, you know, we're eating and stuff. And this whole time I'm not thinking about anything. I'm not thinking about like getting my debit card, but we're gonna fan this out over here. Well, the next day I ended up going to work and he leaves for work before I do. So I didn't think, like, I just didn't think last night or, like, the day before that to grab my debit card or anything because I figured that he had it in his wallet. Like, I was like, yeah, like, he definitely has it, whatever. So I was, like, the next morning I was a little bummed because I was running out of stuff. Like, I needed a puffer and stuff like that. I needed to go to the gas station, and there was just a lot of stuff that I had to do, and I didn't have my card. So I kind of texted him. I was like, hey, like, I think you have my debit card still. It's like in your wallet. And he 
and he didn't reply because obviously like he's at work and stuff so I was I looked at my wallet and I was like yeah you have it you know and didn't think anything of it so that night I came home and I was like yo like now that we're home let me get my debit card and stuff since like we were right there so we went out there he was looking he was out there for a while and i'm like okay i thought he was just kind of out there smoking or doing whatever he had to do and he's like coming in here and he's doing stuff and he's like i think i gave you the debit card right well we lose stuff all the time like all the freaking time we're losing stuff so i was like no like i specifically don't remember like you giving me the debit card at all and he was like yeah like i could have swore i had it it was in the kfc bag like i put all my stuff in the kfc bag well when he did come in he had a bag of all of his food and like his keys were in the kfc bag his phone was in the kfc bag so like i just took my food out and i like left all his stuff in there for him to grab well after we got done eating i think we i just like threw it away I don't know I wasn't thinking and he was like I could have swore it was in there so I was like well shit like I, you just took the trash out yesterday last night it was probably in there I looked in the trash it was like the KFC bag was in there I was like okay never mind like all the KFC shit's in here let me just dig everything out so he's in his car looking for all this for my debit card I am in the trash pulling out every single thing in the trash mind you like i don't like any like there's probably there's poopy diaper in there i know i just changed carter's butt like and i'm like oh like i can't find it so i go through the whole trash i even got another trash bag and dumped all the like I literally took out every single piece and I found the bag well I opened up the bag and I didn't see my debit card so I'm like okay it could have fell there's a de there's a very good possibility it probably fell and it's in the bottom of the trash so I'm like okay I have to dig up the rest of the trash so I'm like digging through the rest of the trash I don't see it so it's gone so I'm like okay definitely not and he's like it's in here somewhere like I definitely had it in here so I'm like okay we're looking around Dude, we can't find it anywhere. We cannot find it anywhere. We still can't find it. I've been, I, this morning I went out and looked in his car and it's nowhere to be found. Well, he's thinking that when he got the receipt, cause you know how like, I never do this. Like I work at McDonald's, and, but I never do this because I, I was just taught I have to hand him the receipt. Um like separately so like i either put the receipt under their money or under their card but he's thinking that like it was folded into the um receipt and he's wondering if like maybe when he was handed the card like he just grabbed the receipt maybe like the the thing slipped out like the card could have slipped out easily because it you know stuff happens like that I'm not blaming my boyfriend for nothing. He didn't do nothing. And that's not what this video is. But I called KFC and I'm like, yo, have you seen a debit card? Because I'm sure they have debit cards up the wide zoo in there. And I'm like, this is my name. Like, I'm looking for a debit card. And she's like, no, we don't have anybody by that name. And I'm like, great. So I'm at like a standpoint. So I'm like, okay at work did you buy anything at work like did you pull out your card maybe my card was behind your card and it accidentally slipped out and like you just didn't notice because there's very well possibility but now i'm getting to the point where we can't find it so i'm thinking that like he actually freaking dropped it and probably somebody picked it up and is trying to figure out how to use it that's why I have my card locked. That's my story with the card. I still don't have any idea where it is at all. I mean, I know my boyfriend doesn't have it. Don't even try pulling that stuff. 
he don't have my card. He makes way more money than I do. If anything, I should be taking his card. But I wanted to buy something. Like, I wanted it. Like, he literally buys everything for me. So, I just wanted to do something. I was like, dude, no. Let me buy it this time. I'm an independent woman. And, like, he's got a Cadillac. So, like, the bottom of his, like, seat is very tiny. It's, like, closed in. And I don't know how... There we go. That's pretty even, I'd say. I don't know, like, how it would have gotten under there, like, at all. So, I'm at a loss of words right now. Because I don't know where it could have went unless somebody picked it up. What if it they picked it up from like my complex i live in a complex if they would have done that I would, I would really be mad what are you trying to do that would be like the third time somebody's trying to steal my card money off my card and he's like don't freak out i'm like bro the minute thing i was like don't freak out i was like my where's my i just checked my instant my bank account instantly I was like, oh my god, what if somebody already picked it up and started spending my money? So yeah, we don't know where it's at. I have to go to the bank today. So that's my goal. Is I'm going to go to the bank and do this stuff. Uh, I'm going to get a new card. I'm going to do everything I can to get a new card. I tried everything I can to look for it. Like, I literally called KFC. I should have probably went there. Maybe it was, like, stuck in the driveway and nobody's seen it yet. Maybe nobody caught it. I don't know. But I'm, like, hoping that nobody has it and is trying to play no stupid crap with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, nobody picked it up. If somebody did that, I'm going to really, like, that would be some shit. That would be the day I would go insane are they even I don't know perfect look at that okay now we're gonna do the eyeliner now we're just gonna kind of shape these bad boys out now we're gonna just start with the our face we're gonna put eyeliner on the bottom of our thing where's our eyeliner at right here voila I'm just kidding this isn't the finished part I just gotta do my foundation and all the other stuff. This is what my eyes look like. Definitely slayed that, so okay. We baked our face. We baked our eyes. Now we have to do the blush and the highlight and the contour. Which I'll do our, I'll do the highlight first. Right here. My highlight brush, and then the best highlight ever in the world, Fix My Halo by Hard Candy. It's literally the best. You see how it, like, shines like that? Oh, love it. Okay. There's the highlight. And then we're going to do my contour, which I use e.l.f. I think everybody uses e.l.f. makeup everything. This side always feels like turns out like shit. This is my good side. Everybody has a good side of their face, you know? And then we're gonna contour the big ass forehead that I have right up here. See it? You can't miss it. It's right there. We're gonna contour the nose. And I use my eyeshadow brush. Shadow. We're gonna use this and we're gonna blend it out. Blend, blend, blend. We're gonna do the blush. I use this thing for my my blush. It's a Studio Pro stick. It's literally these brushes are freaking bomb. Dot com. This is my blush. It's called Blush Please. It's blushing in Rivera. This blush is like my highlight. It's like fluorescent, iridescent, whatever the heck it's called. Iridescent, mermaid colored is what I call it. You just dab a little bit and smile. Rub it on your freaking cheekers. Yeah. 
Damn, I look good. Holy crap. Ooh, damn. Just by the side view. Huh? I can tell just by your side view. <laughs> good. There's the finished look, and then you gotta spray yourself off. So I had to tell YouTube that, you know, my boyfriend lost my card, stole it, and stole all my money off of it. Basically. No, I'm just kidding. Mm -hmm. No, he didn't intentionally do it. I had to, like, literally say that 5,000 times because, you know, people on YouTube are like, Arr! What I make in a whole month in one week, so. It's not even, not even right. It's not right. I'm just kidding. Yes, it is. Okay, and then, so there's the finished look. We're going to powder it off. So I probably should have powdered myself off before I sprayed. But, you know, my homie makeup look for today, even though it's going to be, I'm so sorry, it's going to be posted so late. It's like 2 o'clock right now, and I have to edit it. And then I'm going to post it, so it's going to be really late. And I have to do tomorrow's video, too. Mm -hmm. But I had a lot going on. My freaking car was all messed up pick up my kids but i'm gonna stop at the bank and try to see if i can't get like a new card if they can just print me off a new card right then and there or something or see what i can do until then maybe just pull some money out because i really want a really nice card i want a designed card okay so i lip line my lips i don't ever do lipstick on my lips they're already huge enough this is my video my lips match my hair look at babe See, lips match oh, the hair. Oh, yeah, look at that. See, that hair. <laughs> but um, if you, guys, if you guys like this video, please make sure to actually like it, share it, comment that you like it. If you guys like my makeup look, comment that you like it. Or if you want to see some other makeup look, let me know what colors that you want to see, like on my eyes. Or if you want a tutorial, let me know. I don't know, anything. But make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys tomorrow for vlogtober number six. Because I think I said this was num number four. It's actually number five. So it's October 5th, not 4th. But all right, guys. See you tomorrow.